for me, I think that just understanding that as a human being, every single person wants to be seen, heard, and validated. When you have that in the back of your mind, it brings you out of isolation. You understand that that's all that we're trying to do here on this planet. We're just trying to make our lives matter and have our lives be witnessed by people to feel like it matters. So it gives you empathy and it also gives you direction and clarity on your purpose, I think. That's so good. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm I'm thinking of um, the way that we assume other people's if onlys are the same as ours. Yes. And that Enneagram would say, like, whatever that sentence is for you, if only blank, then I will be blank, um, is going to be different for different Enneagram types and different life circumstances. And what I'm looking for in being seen, what was it, seen, heard, and validated? Mm-hmm. I'm looking to be seen, heard, and validated differently according to my Enneagram yes. type. So I'm not looking for the same thing. So I might be working with an employee or a teammate and think, what well, the kind of validation I'm really looking for is a trophy. So I'm going to give trophies to my team. But my team members might have a different thing that makes them feel validated. Do I know what they're looking for, what it feels like for them to be seen and to feel good? And that, and for everybody individually to watch for the ways that they have only tr- trip us up. So someone might feel like if only this thing were more perfect, if it were better, if it were a higher standard, then I'll finally be happy. If only this relationship were more secure and I were more needed, then I'd finally be happy. If only I got that position, then I'd be happy. If only my true identity were really being lived out, then I'd be happy. If only I became an expert on something, I'd be happy. If only I had, um, if everybody in my life were cared for and response, then, then I'd be happy. If only I was enjoying every new experience, then I'd be happy. If only I were moving forward and past that thing where I'm stuck, then I'd be happy. If only I were if things were more peaceful and calm, then I'd be happy. Those are the nine different Enneagram types. Those are nine different if onlys. And so I'm going to want to be seen for something different if my if only is one of those. I want to be seen as being unique if I'm a four. I want to be seen as being powerful if I'm an eight. I want to be seen as being supportive if I am a two. Um, and so that's when I'm going to feel it is when you see me for those things. And that is both my strength. And again, that's my blind spot because I have to, I love the way I have to bear witness to myself in that. I can't look for that for you, from you. I can't expect you to see me as peaceful and then I'll be happy. I have to learn to be driven differently. So good. I love that you just went through all all nine. I was like, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> How do you find a way to slip in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>